Are you a recording artist who's been making music for years, but you're struggling to get your songs finished, either because you're relying on music producers or because of your lack of understanding with music production? You've invested thousands of hours and thousands of dollars into your craft, but your full-time job keeps getting in the way and makes you put music on the back burner. But imagine this for a second. Imagine if you could take the ideas in your head, the hundreds and hundreds of songs that you have not finished and get them fully finished by you in the comfort of your own home. Not just get them finished and not just have them at the demo level, but have you actually excited to release those songs? If any of those are relating to you, then this video is definitely gonna be for you. What we're gonna do in this video is I'm gonna walk you through how to produce your own music in 90 days using our rapid fire music method. We're gonna break down each one of the three stages in full and show you real live results of how they've worked for other recording artists who are in the same exact spot as you. So let's dive in. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to start fully producing your own music in 90 days using the rapid fire music method. We're gonna go through three phases. Phase one is gear up, phase two is producing instrumentals, phase three is mixing and mastering. If you don't know who I am, my name's Lizzy the Gifted. Started out doing music in 2011 as a rapper and recording artist. I was only able to write lyrics and record vocals. Seven years into my career, I decided to start learning music production on my own, kind of like what you're doing. Basically took to YouTube to learn it. I made it work, but it took me four hours per day of watching videos and practicing for four years straight to get great at producing music, but it's obviously changed my life. I've had the opportunity to speak at some really cool events like the Indie Artist Summit hosted by Billy Big Shots. Uh, some of my songs have done really well and gotten hundreds and thousands of views and streams, and I've been able to grow a pretty large following here it shows over the last 90 days, I've grown just around 3,000 followers. So right now I'm averaging around 1,000 new followers per month. So pretty cool stuff. Um, but enough about me. Let's get right into this and show you exactly how we're going to be able to help you fully produce your own music. So phase one is gear up. It breaks down into three steps. Step one is mindset. Steps two is hardware. Step three is software. So just going a little bit deeper in terms of mindset it's really simple like first thing is having some time management systems installed because you have a full-time job and you need to be able to work your full-time job but also be able to learn music production implement what you learn and make music so the first thing is time management after that i show you how to create a high quantity of high quality songs you know for example if you put out one or two or three songs per year and they're great songs it, to be honest with you, it doesn't really matter because that's not really enough music for you to become relevant in music. However, if you decide, hey, I'm gonna put out a new song every week, but the songs all sound really bad, again, that's not gonna help you. So we have to be able to put out a high quantity of high quality songs. And then lastly is battling resistance, which is anything that stops you from creating. So these are the three first three things we talk about is just mindset, getting you set with all the mental foundations to fully produce music. After that, we go through the hardware and I'm just gonna tell you what it is now. You need a computer, mic, audio interface, XLR cables, which is basically what connects the mic to the audio interface, and then headphones. Most of my clients already come in to the program that I do, which is called Rapid Fire Music Academy. They already have this stuff. If you don't, I've had clients come in and buy these things as well. But these are the things you need. This is literally all you need to produce music. You don't need a MIDI keyboard, you don't need speakers. And then in terms of software, you will need a digital audio workstation, Logic, Ableton, FL, Pro Tools, etc. Any of these work, you can use Studio One if you want. You can use Cubase, Reason, doesn't matter. You need a DAW. Um, but if you've already been recording songs, you probably already have a DAW. The next things you're gonna need are Splice and Arcade. These are gonna be things for producing instrumentals. Then you're gonna need to get Waves Creative Suite. That's gonna be your mixing plugins. And then Isotope Ozone, either 10 or 11, doesn't really matter. Um, this is gonna be for mastering. So this is all the gear you're gonna need. And then in terms of like the actual investment, um, hardware, I don't know if what you would need, but let's just say you already have hardware. In terms of the software, literally the total of all of these things Splice Arcade Waves and Isotope, you can do all these subscription based, costs less than a tank of gas. So it's pretty affordable. So, you know, getting geared up is something really important. It's what one of my clients, Ange, went through. Um, she's somebody that I worked with where she started working with me and she was already kind of versed in music production a little bit, but it was taking her three months to make a song. Then she went to finishing a new song every month 
After that, she decided she wanted to actually grow her music production business. She wanted to actually get paid to produce music for other people, so she worked with me on that. We installed the music social funnel into her career, and she closed seven production clients in the first 30 days. Now she does around four to five K a month with her music business and she's growing it every single month. About a year ago, I was stuck in my music career. I wasn't making high quality music and most importantly, I didn't even really know what I wanted to do. That's when I met Lindsay. I signed up for his coaching program, invested more than I ever have in my life and dove in head first. Having him as a mentor completely changed the trajectory of my career. Phase two is producing instrumentals. Again, simple three steps. First, we create the melody, then the drums and bass, then arranging the song. I'll explain exactly what we do with all of those. With the melody, basically what you can do is you can actually create melodies in your instrumentals without needing to know music theory. Then you're gonna obviously wanna create the drums and bass and you can actually get sounds from Grammy winning and multi-platinum producers so that your songs actually have a high quality professional sound. And then in terms of arrangement, that's arranging your instrumental into different sections so that you're excited to write lyrics and record your vocals. Now, what's really cool, in case you have any kind of doubts that you can produce instrumentals, let me show you something. All of my clients who I've worked with, they don't know how to produce, except Ange kind of came in and knew, but most of my other clients didn't. So back in August, uh, August 2023, we actually did a beat making contest. So basically I was like, hey guys, whoever makes the most instrumentals in the month of August, I'm gonna give you 250 bucks. Here's what the results were. Ryan B did made 10 beats, Ange made 26, and Cameron Penman, C Penny, um, he ended up making 36 beats in the month of August. 36 beats in the month of August. And this is a guy who actually came in and used to buy beats on BeatStars and he actually lives somewhat close to me in Sacramento, California. Um, so I was like, hey man, in, in, in terms of you winning the contest, in addition to the money, why don't I go ahead and uh, invite you over to the crib, come through, kick it, we can go out for food and stuff like that. So that was a really cool process. And uh, another one of my clients, this is an even crazier story. This is Carlos SB. So Carlos, he had never, <laughs> man, this is so crazy. He had never even written a song or recorded a song before working with me. And he had, but he had all the gear. So it was like, I think he might've been messing around with it. But what ended up happening is um, after being in the program for four months, he, you know, it says right here, prior to joining, I'd never made a beat or even written a song, but since joining, he's made 16 beats, written five songs. It may not seem like much, but if you would have told me four months ago, I would have had 16 beats and five songs written, I would have never believed it. So this is just the beginning and a lot more. So I had literally barely, barely started like learning how to produce. I knew little to nothing, never made a song. I was barely getting started with the whole thing. As soon as I started with him, within, what was it like? Two weeks, maybe three weeks, I had my first beat. I think it was like two weeks, first beat. Uh, since then, it's been about a month and a half. I got five beats. I got my first full song recorded. Wow. And more to come, more to come. Hey, that's crazy. So you've never, you and since then, now he's doing about a song or two per month, right? So he's done one, two, three, four, five. He's put out six songs and he's just getting his career started. Once you learn how to produce instrumentals, we go into phase three, which is mixing and mastering. And so that again, breaks down into three steps. First is vocals, right? So what I do is I run a process and I run my clients through a process called pre-mixing your vocals. Basically you set up your vocal recording session once and then always have your vocals sounding high quality. Even if you're recording in your bedroom, living room or laundry room, which I'm going to talk about one of my clients who does that, <laughs> then you have to go into the mixing phase, which essentially means how to blend everything together to make your song sound balanced, cohesive and high quality. And then mastering, which is making your song stand out on any type of output system, whether your fans are listening off their phone speakers, earbuds, headphones, or in the car or live on stage, your song needs to translate. And again, you might not think of yourself as someone who can quote unquote mix and master, and you might not have access to a big studio, but that doesn't matter. Because like my client Devin, his only skills, he can play guitar and sing and songwrite, that's it. He used to pay $1,000 per song and ended up finishing three self-produced songs in just 90 days. I just wanted to take a, a quick moment here to talk about uh, Rapid Fire Music Academy. Um, I gotta be honest with you, at the time I was skeptical because it seemed to be more geared towards hip hop and rap. And me, myself, I do more of a singer-songwriter um, type of stuff, pop, rock, 
folk, that type of thing. And I wasn't sure if it was really gonna work for me, but I was really inspired and interested in learning how to do music production. So I jumped right in and it worked amazingly for me. Since joining the program, I have written, recorded, uh, mixed and mastered three songs myself. Um, so that's been in, in less than three months. They're fully ready to go and be released. Thank you, Lee. If, you're, if there's a songwriter or artist out there that's curious about getting into this program, I highly recommend it. Just invest in yourself, invest in your future. Or like my client, Ryan B. Ryan B started again with no production experience and ended up finishing 30 beats and recorded five songs in just 90 days. Now more than ever before, like whether it's my own music or like a beat that I make for someone else, like that ability to just, like I have this, I now possess the skills to be able to sit down in 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes later, but usually like 20 minutes later, I have put together something that I'm like, this is dope. Or like my client Jay Bass, and I won't read you this entire thing, I'll just go through the highlights of this, but again, in case you have any doubt as to your ability to be able to produce music, here's where Jaden was at, right? So Jaden, 56 days into the course, he, had, he finally finished his first song from start to finish. But let me explain, he had never, finished any songs before starting in the program at all, let alone making the beats, recording, mixing, and mastering on his own. Like he says, before joining, I had only really been writing since the pandemic and recorded songs over least beats off BeatStars, came across one of my ads. Next thing you know, he's learning how to produce. He feels like he has a lot of versatility and freedom. What's been really dope is, again, because he can fully produce, he now is putting out a brand new song every single month. He's put out eight songs and he's done a song every single month. So he's done a song every month for the last eight months. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And at this point, you've got two options, right? I've given you a high level overview. You're probably pretty intelligent. You could probably go figure this out on your own. So if that's the case, great. I wish you the best of luck. You can go try to look through other YouTube videos and try to go figure this out. But if you don't wanna to try to figure this out on your own because you've already tried doing that for years and you're ready to actually take the next step, then I have a second option for you, which is just to come join us at the Rapid Fire Music Academy. All you have to do if you want to learn more about how this academy works in full, go click below, watch the entire video breakdown of me breaking down what exactly goes into our program, what the offer and the guarantee is, and if you're ready to just get started now, that's cool too. Click below in the description. You can book a call to speak with either me or my team and we'll get you set up to see if you're the right fit. On the call, what we're gonna do is I'll basically figure out exactly what's going on with you, what challenges, pain points you're having, and if I can help. And if it seems like we're a good fit and I'm 100% confident that I can help you, what I'll do on the call is I'll build out some higher level strategies, show you what it would look like to partner up. But if it doesn't seem like we're a good fit, that's cool too. Very least, I'll just point you in a different direction, all right? Either way, I look forward to serving you and supporting you in any capacity. Hope you have a great rest of your day. See you on the next one. Peace.